in most cases, they are the ones that trigger this mass killing. Because Ansakai will travel 20 or 30 kilometers from their place to another place and kill a Fulani or kill anybody they suspect to be a bandit. And when the, 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 the Fulani, the bandits in the forest come out, they attack the nearest community that has nothing to do, that was not involved in the killing of the person that they were alleging that has been killed. It has happened in, in Kadiso and in many areas that we saw uh, massive killing. So we don't approve of the uh, issue of Yansake, but vigilante working with the police is what we are working to make sure that they are properly trained and uh, so that they assist the police uh, before uh, we have the community police in place. I think it's the matter of restoring confidence. But most of the villages that they come from are empty now. Um, but uh, we want to make sure that there is military and police presence uh, before they go back. But uh, actually all their places are now empty. There are two types of vigilantes. One vigilante is the one that is recognized by the law enforcement agencies. And there is those people they call themselves Sakai. The Katsina state government has blamed a vigilante group, Yen Sakai, otherwise known as volunteers, for triggering the mass killings by bandits in the frontline local government areas. The governor, Aminu Masari, criticized activities of the unrecognized vigilantes during a visit to the Dandume IDP camp in Katsina South, where 879 persons, mostly women and children, are taking shelter. He says their actions are making it extremely difficult for security agencies to tackle banditry and other related crimes in Katsina State. Meanwhile, military authorities say troops of Operation Hadarin Daji have foiled an attack by bandits on Mara Zamfarawa village in Danmusa, local government area of Katsina State. The defense spokesman, Major General John Anenche, confirmed in a statement that six bandits were shot dead while several others escaped with gunshot wounds. The soldiers arrested several suspected informants and collaborators of the bandits at Dunya village in Danmusa, local government area, following aggressive patrol and intelligence reports by troops. General Alencia adds that a total of five bandits were killed by the troops in shootouts at Bukuruka and Rabandawa Forest in southern burning local government area of Zamfara State, and several weapons and motorcycles were recovered from them.